Sharks have sharp teeth. Even the small ones can hurt you badly. They can cause significant cuts, make you lose a lot of blood, and sometimes even worse. But it's not that sharks are getting meaner. It's just that more people are swimming and playing in the ocean where sharks live. This means there are more chances for people to bump into sharks. Every shark, big or small, is a hunter and can be dangerous if you bother them. So it's wise to be careful and show them respect when you're in the ocean. Here are six stories of shark encounters. In the crystal clear waters of the remote island of Dyer Island, tucked away in South Africa, far from the buzz of everyday life, a dedicated marine photographer named Ava Thomas embarked on a journey that would forever shift her perspective on the ocean's apex predators and the essence of her work. It was the summer of 2011, and Ava had spent years capturing the ethereal beauty beneath the waves, aiming to unravel the mysteries of marine life. This island, known for its vibrant coral reefs and diverse ecosystem, was a paradise for underwater photographers. It also whispered legends of the great white shark, a creature respected and feared by the local people. With a history of maritime folklore, this setting was perfect for Ava's project to document these majestic yet misunderstood beings in their natural habitat. Equipped with state-of-the-art underwater camera gear, Ava dove into the azure depths, her heart filled with excitement and apprehension. She knew the risks of her profession, yet her passion for the marine world propelled her to face these dangers. Her mission was to capture images challenging the typical fear and misconceptions about sharks. As she swam through the kaleidoscope of fish and corals, Ava felt a profound connection to the ocean, a sense of being part of something much larger than herself. Her eyes constantly searched for the perfect shot and a glimpse into the lives of the creatures she admired. The encounter occurred when she least expected it. Ava suddenly found herself face to face with a great white shark as she navigated a dense coral formation. Time seemed to freeze as they locked eyes. With its iconic silhouette and imposing presence, the shark floated effortlessly, its gaze intense yet devoid of malice. Initially, fear gripped Ava, a primal reaction to the sudden appearance of such a formidable predator. Yet, as she calmed her breath and composed herself, tranquility washed over her. She remembered her purpose, her commitment to portraying these creatures not as monsters but as vital parts of the marine ecosystem. Ava began to document this extraordinary encounter with her camera at the ready. The shark, seemingly curious rather than threatened, allowed her to capture its grace and power from various angles. Ava's fear transformed into awe and respect as she observed the shark's serene majesty up close. However, the encounter took an unexpected turn when a sudden movement from Ava's equipment startled the shark, causing it to react defensively. The shark's massive tail sent Ava tumbling through the water in a heart-stopping moment. The force of the impact disoriented her, and for a terrifying instant she lost sight of the shark. The world was a blur of motion and confusion for a few heart-pounding seconds, and Ava lost sight of the shark entirely. Initially, Ava feared the encounter might have seriously injured her. The adrenaline coursing through her veins masked any immediate pain, but as the waters around her stilled and she managed to right herself, she conducted a quick self-assessment. Miraculously, aside from a sharp jolt of pain in her shoulder where the camera strap had tightened under the force of the tail swipe, she appeared unharmed. The protective qualities of her diving suit and the fact that the shark's tail had not made direct contact with her body had spared her from cuts or worse. Recovering her composure amidst the swirling water, Ava realized the importance of calming her breathing and steadying her movements to avoid further provoking the shark. Using her extensive diving experience, she slowly and deliberately gathered her scattered equipment, carefully maintaining a non-threatening posture. By controlling her panic and adopting a measured approach to regroup, she signaled to the shark, now a shadowy figure in the distance, that she was not a threat. This quick thinking and calm demeanor allowed Ava to manage the situation effectively. Once she had accounted for all her equipment and ensured she was not seriously hurt, she cautiously resumed her photography, albeit with a heightened awareness and respect for the powerful creature she shared the water with. The incident was a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of wildlife interactions and the need for constant vigilance and respect in their domain. Despite the scare, Ava's determination to continue her work, capturing the beauty and essence of marine life, remained undiminished, 
driven by a deeper understanding and respect for the creatures of the deep. This experience, while frightening, did not deter Ava. Instead, it deepened her resolve to challenge the stereotypes surrounding sharks. Ava emerged from the water that day with breathtaking photographs and a profound lesson on the delicate balance between fear and respect for the natural world. Her encounter with the great white shark became the centerpiece of her exhibition, combining the thrill of the experience with a message of conservation and understanding. This story of bravery and insight in South Africa gained widespread recognition, highlighting Ava's artistic merit and contribution to marine conservation. She became an advocate for shark protection, using her platform to dispel myths and promote a more informed and respectful coexistence with marine predators. Through her lens, Ava captured more than images. She wove a narrative that bridged the gap between fear and understanding, urging people to view the ocean's predators not as villains but as essential participants in the tapestry of marine life. Her journey underscored the importance of humility and awe in our approach to the natural world, transforming her fears into a source of inspiration and change. In the serene but wild expanses of the Bahamas nestled within the crystal-clear embrace of the Atlantic, the year was 1995. The sun cast its golden hues over the sprawling archipelago, renowned for its rich history of piracy, colonial struggles, and the tranquil beauty that now drew adventurers from around the globe. It was here, amidst the wondrous allure of these waters, that Luke Harrison, a 28-year-old avid spear fisherman, sought his next underwater quarry. Luke, a man of medium build with a heart as vast as the ocean, had developed a profound connection with the sea. His eyes, reflecting the azure depths, sparkled with the thrill of the hunt, and his skilled hands bore the marks of countless dives. Spearfishing was not just a hobby for Luke. It was a passion that tethered his soul to the rhythmic pulse of the waves. On a day that began like any other, Luke set out from Nassau's quaint, sun-drenched shores. His boat, the Azure Spear, bobbed gently in the calm morning tide, loaded with the essentials for his solitary expedition. Luke's target for the day was the elusive Wahoo, a prize that promised both a challenge and a feast. As he steered his vessel towards the famed Tongue of the Ocean, a deep oceanic trench that bordered the Great Bahama Bank, excitement coursed through his veins. The tongue of the ocean, shrouded in mystery and tales of ancient mariners, was a diver's paradise. Its depths teemed with life, a vivid tapestry of coral reefs and the myriad creatures that called them home. Yet beneath its beauty lay the unpredictable dangers of the open sea. With years of experience beneath his belt, Luke was well aware of the risks but driven by a relentless pursuit of adventure. As the midday sun cast its piercing light through the clear waters, Luke anchored the Azure Spear above a promising spot near the edge of a steep drop-off. Donning his diving gear with practiced ease, he plunged into the cool embrace of the ocean, spear gun in hand. As he descended along the vibrant coral wall, the underwater world unfolded before him, a realm of silent wonders. It wasn't long before Luke spotted his prey, a sleek wahoo darting among the shadows. With practiced precision, he aligned his spear gun, his focus unbroken. However, as he prepared to take his shot, an unexpected shadow loomed large in the periphery of his vision. Oceanic white-tipped sharks, curious and formidable, had been drawn by the commotion. The oceanic white-tip, known for its boldness and persistence, rarely frequented these waters in large numbers. Yet on this fateful day, a group had converged, possibly attracted by the promise of an easy meal. Luke's heart pounded as he registered their presence his initial shock quickly turning to calm resolve. He knew that panic would only invite disaster. Luke's mind raced as he weighed his options. The spear in his gun was intended for fish, not fending off multiple sharks. He remembered the tales of sailors and divers encountering these apex predators, emphasizing respect and caution. Keeping his movement slow and deliberate, Luke began to retreat towards the surface, hoping to dissuade his unwanted followers. However, the sharks, Encouraged by their numbers, closed in. Luke was in a precarious dance, maintaining eye contact and using his spear gun as a barrier. His ascent was painstakingly slow, a test of nerve and endurance. The shark's interest seemed to wane with every meter gained towards the surface, their figures becoming shadows against the sunlit waters above. 
Just as his lungs began to scream for air, Luke broke the surface. The azure spear a mere stone's throw away. He swam with the last reserves of his strength, clambering aboard and collapsing onto the deck, his breaths coming in ragged gasps. The sharks, perhaps deterred by the boat or simply losing interest, did not follow. As he sat there, the adrenaline slowly ebbing from his veins, Luke reflected on the encounter. After the harrowing encounter, Luke Harrison's recovery on the Azure Spear was marked by moments of deep reflection and gasping breaths of relief. Once he regained his composure, he carefully navigated the boat back to the safety of Nassau's shore, each wave carrying him closer to the familiar sands that now seemed to hold a newfound significance. The journey back was a silent testament to his resilience and unspoken bond with the ocean, even in the wake of danger. With the shoreline in sight, Luke's spirit was not diminished but fortified, embracing a sense of gratitude for the ordeal that taught him the precarious balance between man and the majestic, unpredictable sea. This experience, though fraught with peril, deepened his connection to the waters he so loved, weaving into the fabric of his soul a profound respect for its inhabitants and the mysteries it held beneath its surface. For all its beauty, the ocean remained an untamed frontier, home to creatures as majestic as they were formidable. That day, he had been reminded of his place within this vast blue wilderness. The experience, far from deterring him, only deepened his respect for the ocean and its inhabitants. In the following weeks and months, Luke Harrison's story became one of many whispered tales among the local and diving communities. His encounter with the oceanic white tips while harrowing underscored the unpredictable nature of the sea and the importance of respecting its inhabitants. Luke continued to spearfish, but with a renewed sense of humility and caution. The ocean had taught him a valuable lesson in coexistence, one he would carry with him on all future endeavors. His tale, a testament to the thrills and dangers lurking beneath the waves, reminded all who sought to explore the depths. The sea is a realm of wonders, but it demands respect. In 2015, a group of marine biologists and conservationists embarked on an expedition unlike any other in the deep blue waters off the coast of Queensland, Australia. Led by Lily Thompson, a renowned conservationist known for her unwavering dedication to protecting marine life, the team set out to study shark populations in the Great Barrier Reef. The expedition aimed to gather data critical for conserving these misunderstood creatures, ensuring their survival amidst the increasing threats of climate change and human activities. The Queensland coast, with its rich history dating back to the indigenous peoples and its role in early European explorations, was more than just a scenic backdrop for their research. It was a living, breathing ecosystem crucial in balancing marine life. The Great Barrier Reef, a jewel in the ocean, was home to a dizzying array of species, making it the perfect location for their study. However, the serene beauty of the reef masked the inherent dangers lurking beneath its waves. It was here in this paradise that Lily's dedication would be tested in a way she never imagined. While leading a dive to install underwater cameras designed to monitor shark behavior, Lily encountered a bull shark, a species known for its unpredictable nature. Lily was focused on finding the perfect spots to install the cameras, ensuring they would capture the most helpful footage without disturbing the natural habitat. It was during this focused activity that Lily first noticed the bull shark. She was securing a camera to a large outcropping of coral when the shark's shadow crossed her vision field. Bull sharks are known for their robust bodies, blunt snouts, and unpredictable nature, making them one of the more formidable species in the ocean. This particular shark was impressive, quickly measuring over seven feet in length, its sleek form quickly cutting through the water. At first, the shark seemed merely curious, circling at a distance. Lily was well-versed in shark behavior and knew that attacks on humans were sporadic. She remained calm, signaling her team to stay still and avoid sudden movements that could be interpreted as threatening. Her heart raced, not out of fear, but with the adrenaline of being so close to such a powerful creature in its natural environment. Despite her extensive experience and knowledge, the meeting took a terrifying turn. The shark, possibly provoked by the presence of the divers or mistaking them for a threat, attacked. In a moment that seemed to stretch for an eternity, Lily found herself locked in a struggle for survival. The bull shark's powerful jaws clamped down on her leg, 
dragging her deeper into the abyss. Panic set in among the team, but Lily's survival instincts kicked in through the haze of fear. She remembered the training and advice she had given so many times. Stay calm, avoid sudden movements, and try to gently push the shark's nose to encourage it to release. Miraculously, the shark let go, leaving Lily to be quickly pulled to safety by her team. The attack left her severely injured but alive. It was a stark reminder of the power and unpredictability of the creatures she had dedicated her life to protect. As Lily recovered in a hospital bed, she reflected on the incident in the following days. It would have been easy for her to harbor resentment or fear towards sharks, to see them as nothing more than dangerous predators. But as she replayed the event in her mind, her resolve only strengthened. She understood that the shark had not attacked out of malice but was following its instincts. This encounter, as harrowing as it was, highlighted the delicate balance between humans and marine life and the importance of respecting and understanding the creatures of the sea. Lily's story became a catalyst for change. She used her experience to advocate for greater awareness and understanding of sharks, emphasizing their role in the ecosystem and the threats they face from overfishing, habitat loss, and climate change. Her message was clear. Sharks were not mindless killers, but vital to the ocean's health. The expedition, although momentarily overshadowed by the attack, was a success. The data collected provided invaluable insights into shark behaviors and migration patterns, contributing significantly to conservation efforts. Lily's encounter with the bull shark did not deter her. Instead, it reinforced her commitment to marine conservation. Ultimately, Lily's experience did not just change her. It inspired a broader shift in how people viewed and interacted with sharks. Through education and conservation efforts, the narrative shifted from fear to respect, from confrontation to coexistence. Lily's legacy was not defined by the attack, but by her response to it, a lasting contribution to protecting the marine world she loved so dearly. The quaint yet vibrant town of Isla Mariposa lay in the radiant embrace of the Caribbean, nestled within the turquoise expanses that skirt the Yucatan Peninsula. The year was 2015, and Isla Mariposa was a haven for those seeking respite from the clamor of modern life, offering a unique blend of serene beaches, rich history, and an ecosystem teeming with marine life that attracted adventurers and nature enthusiasts alike. The town's history added a wondrous allure to its natural beauty, making it an irresistible destination for tourists from around the globe. Among these tourists was Owen Bradford, a thrill-seeker with an insatiable appetite for adventure. In his early 30s, Owen hailed from the bustling city of Toronto, Canada. Disenchanted by the monotony of office life and the unyielding cold of Canadian winters, Owen sought warmth and excitement in Isla Mariposa's embrace. His journey to Isla Mariposa was not merely a vacation, but a quest for the kind of thrill that urban life could not provide. Owen's venture into the unknown began with a snorkeling trip to the Coral Garden a renowned snorkeling spot just off the coast of Isla Mariposa. Celebrated for its vibrant coral reefs and the diverse marine life it nurtured. The Coral Garden was a natural masterpiece, a submerged tapestry of colors and shapes left its visitors in awe. Yet, unbeknownst to Owen, it was also the domain of a creature far less welcoming than the colorful fish and gentle sea turtles, a lemon shark, Known among the locals as the Phantom of the Sea for its elusive nature and the yellowish tint of its skin that allowed it to blend seamlessly with the sandy ocean floor. As Owen, equipped with his snorkel and fins, plunged into the crystalline waters, his heart raced with anticipation. The underwater world that unfolded before him was mesmerizing. Schools of fish darted through the water, their scales glinting like jewels under the sun's rays that pierced the surface. He was so engrossed in the beauty surrounding him that he failed to notice the shadow looming in the distance, inching closer with a quiet menace. The conflict that would define Owen's adventure and serve as a harrowing reminder of nature's indifference might begin with a sudden, sharp tug at his fin. Turning around with a start, Owen came face to face with the lemon shark. Curious and encouraged by the intrusion into its territory, the lemon shark had decided to investigate the foreign presence. For Owen, the thrill of the adventure took a terrifying turn as he realized he was now in a battle of wits and wills with a predator of the deep. In that moment, time seemed to stand still. 
Owen's fascination with the marine world was overshadowed by a primal fear, a stark reminder of his vulnerability in this alien environment. The shark circled him, its movements deliberate, its eyes unblinking. Owen knew he had to act, but panic clouded his mind. The tales of shark encounters he had heard in the past echoed in his thoughts, a cacophony of advice and warnings that offered no clear path to safety. The resolution to Owen's ordeal came not from a grand act of heroism, but from a sudden, almost instinctual decision. Recalling a piece of advice he had once heard, Owen remained as still as possible, making himself seem less like prey and more like an uninteresting part of the marine landscape. Amid the tense standoff as Owen endeavored to remain motionless, a sudden shift in the shark's demeanor marked a chilling moment. The lemon shark, perhaps mistaking Owen's stillness for vulnerability, made a swift, darting motion toward him, its powerful body cutting through the water with terrifying precision. Owen's heart pounded in his chest, a primal fear gripping him as he braced for an impact that seemed inevitable. Yet in those fleeting seconds, his calmness became his shield. The shark, mere inches from him, seemed to reconsider, its eyes scrutinizing Owen's unflinching posture. Then, as suddenly as it had charged, it veered away and its interest waned, leaving Owen in a whirlpool of relief and disbelief. The encounter, a testament to the unpredictable nature of the wild, served as a poignant reminder of the fine line between curiosity and caution in the natural world. Minutes passed, each second stretching into eternity, until the shark, losing interest, slowly swam away into the depths, leaving Owen to ponder the fragility of human life when faced with the raw forces of nature. The aftermath of the encounter was a mixture of relief and profound respect for the natural world. Once back in the boat's safety, Owen couldn't shake the feeling of awe mixed with a newfound respect for the ocean and its inhabitants. His heart was still racing from the encounter, but Owen realized he had miraculously escaped the ordeal unhurt. The experience became a cautionary tale that he would share with others, a reminder of the importance of respecting nature's boundaries and the perils of underestimating its power. Owen's adventure in Isla Mariposa changed him. No longer did he seek thrills for the sake of excitement alone. Instead, he became an advocate for conservation and responsible tourism, using his story to highlight the beauty and fragility of the world's oceans and the creatures that call them home. The encounter with the lemon shark had transformed him, teaching him that true adventure lies not in conquering nature but in learning to coexist with it in harmony and respect. His adventure in Isla Mariposa had taught him that the most profound encounters with nature change us, compelling us to act on behalf of a world that cannot speak for itself. Owen's tale became not just a cautionary story about the perils of underestimating nature's power, but a testament to the transformative potential of respecting and protecting the natural world. As Owen looked out over the Coral Garden, now a protected marine sanctuary thanks in part to his efforts, he understood that the real adventure was not in seeking thrills but in contributing to something greater than oneself. His battle with the Predator had become a battle for preservation. This legacy would endure long after his footprints had faded from the sands of Isla Mariposa. In the vast expanse of the Pacific, far from the bustling life of any coast, Grace Evelyn Harrison, a documentary filmmaker with an unquenchable thirst for uncovering the mysteries of the deep sea, found herself embarking on what was to be the most harrowing project of her career. The year was 2005, and Grace, alongside her small but dedicated crew, set sail from the shores of Hawaii. Bound for the remote and largely unexplored ocean depths between the islands and the distant reaches of the Mariana Trench. Grace, a seasoned filmmaker with several acclaimed documentaries, had always been drawn to the ocean. Its vast, uncharted territories and the life forms dwelling in its depths fascinated her. This time, her project aimed to capture the elusive oceanic white tip shark, a species renowned for its beauty and ferocity in its natural habitat. Unknown to Grace and her crew, their expedition would soon become a struggle for survival, the essence of human resilience against nature's indomitable will. The setting for this daunting venture was chosen with care. With its sprawling, boundless waters, the Pacific Ocean held secrets mankind had barely begun to understand. Historical accounts of the area spoke of ancient mariners who feared these waters, telling tales of monstrous creatures lurking beneath the waves, 
ready to claim the souls of those daring enough to venture into their domain. While mostly relegated to folklore, these stories underscored the respect and fear that the ocean demanded. As Grace's vessel, the Nereid's Whisper, named after the sea nymphs of Greek mythology, ventured further from land, the ocean's vastness became more apparent. The deep blue expanse stretched endlessly in all directions, a reminder of how insignificant one could feel in the face of nature's magnificence. The first few days of the expedition passed without incident. Grace and her crew filmed breathtaking footage of the marine life that thrived in the ocean's upper layers. They captured images of playful dolphins riding the bow wave of their ship, schools of iridescent fish that shimmered in the sunlight, and the graceful ballet of manta rays. Yet the oceanic white-tip sharks remained elusive, as if aware of their intentions and choosing to stay hidden in the depths. It was on the fourth day, as the sun lay below the horizon, casting the sky in hues of fiery orange and deep purple that their ordeal began. Grace, ever the determined filmmaker, had decided to take advantage of the twilight hours, hoping to capture the ethereal beauty of the ocean at dusk. She and two crew members, camera equipment in tow, lowered themselves into the cage that would protect them from the predators of the deep. As they descended into the ocean's twilight zone, the light from above quickly faded, swallowed by the unfathomable depths. The crew had equipped themselves with powerful underwater lights, which now pierced the darkness, revealing the unseen world below. It was then, in the artificial daylight created by their lights, that they first noticed the shadows. Silent and swift, the oceanic white-tipped sharks emerged from the gloom, their curiosity piqued by the intrusion into their domain. Grace, her heart racing with excitement and fear, began filming. The sharks, graceful yet imposing, circled the cage, their eyes reflecting the light in an almost otherworldly way. Suddenly the unexpected happened. A massive silhouette, far more significant than the sharks that had been their focus, loomed out of the darkness. A rogue male approached the cage, easily distinguishable by its size and the scars that marred its skin, a testament to its dominance and survival. Its interest was not in the cameras or lights, but in the humans within the cage. The situation escalated rapidly. The rogue shark, displaying a level of aggression rarely observed in its species, began ramming the cage, testing the strength of the bars that separated predator from prey. Under a scenario they had never anticipated, Grace and her crew were thrown into a fight for survival. The cage, designed to withstand the bites of curious sharks, began to show signs of yielding under the relentless assault of the massive creature. In the chaos, Grace's primary concern was the safety of her crew. Amidst the fear and adrenaline, she kept her camera rolling, capturing every harrowing moment of their ordeal. The footage she knew would serve as a testament to the raw power of nature and the thin line between life and death in the depths of the ocean. The relentless assault from the rogue shark tested the limits of the cage's durability. Grace Evelyn Harrison, amidst the panic, found an eerie calm. Her life, dedicated to capturing the untold stories of the deep, seemed to hang in the balance, framed by the steel bars of a cage that now felt more like a prison than protection. The crew situation seemed dire in the pitch-black water, lit only by the beams of their underwater lights. Above them, the surface seemed a world away, and the boat, their only lifeline, remained oblivious to the unfolding drama below. The communication system designed for routine updates crackled to life as Grace attempted to relay their predicament. On the Nereid's whisper, the crew above scrambled into action. The captain, James Jim Lowell Anderson, a seasoned sailor with decades of experience on the open sea, understood the gravity of the situation. The oceanic white tip, known for its curiosity and boldness, rarely displayed such aggressive behavior. Yet Jim knew the ocean was a realm of unpredictability where human rules seldom applied. Below, the sharks continued their circling dance, encouraged by the rogue leader's aggression. Grace, her camera now an afterthought, focused on calming her crew. Her voice steady despite the fear that gripped her heart. The camera left on continued to record, its lens capturing a testament to their ordeal's raw, unscripted nature. As the crew above worked to retrieve the cage, a sudden powerful tug signaled the beginning of their ascent. The rogue shark, perhaps sensing the loss of its quarry, intensified its attacks, its massive body slamming into the cage with renewed vigor. 
Inside, Grace and her crew braced against the impacts, their survival hanging by a thread. The ascent seemed to last an eternity. Each meter they rose brought them closer to safety, but also tested the cage's integrity to its limits. The structure groaned under the strain, bolts loosening and metal bending, a stark reminder of the power wielded by the creatures of the deep. Finally, the cage broke the surface, its appearance starkly contrasting with the sleek structure that had descended into the depths. Bent bars and a gaping hole where the rogue shark had nearly breached its defenses bore silent testimony to their near-fatal encounter. The crew on the Nereid's whisper wasted no time hauling the battered cage aboard, their faces a mix of relief and disbelief at the sight that greeted them. Grace and her crew were safe, and the ordeal behind them was at a loss. The project that had brought them into the path of one of the ocean's most formidable predators had almost cost them their lives. Yet, as she reviewed the footage captured during their encounter, a sense of awe replaced the fear. The raw power of the oceanic white tip, the beauty of its form, and the sheer will to survive had been captured in stark, unfiltered detail. Once a project aimed at showcasing the hidden wonders of the deep, the documentary evolved into a narrative of human endurance, a tale of survival against the odds. Grace, her resolve strengthened by the experience, decided to include the footage of their unedited and unfiltered encounter as the centerpiece of her documentary. Once a filmmaker driven by curiosity, Grace Evelyn Harrison had become a symbol of courage and determination. Her experience with the oceanic white tip sharks, a near-fatal dance with death, had not deterred her spirit of exploration. Instead, it had deepened her respect for the ocean, a realm as beautiful as it was unforgiving. Grace's ordeal with the oceanic white-tip sharks became more than a story of survival. It was a testament to the human spirit, a narrative that resonated with those who sought to understand the mysteries of the deep and the creatures that call it home. For Grace, it was the subject of her most challenging project yet, a journey that had brought her face to face with her fears and ultimately taught her the true meaning of resilience. In the remote, pristine waters off the coast of a minor island in the South Pacific, the year was 1997. The island held a history as deep and wondrous as the waters surrounding it. It was a place where the ocean kissed the land, a realm where nature remained untamed, and the depths hid beauties only the bravest dared to uncover. Among these beauties was a reef, a hidden jewel beneath the waves, known only to a select few. This reef was not marked on any map, its existence was passed down through whispered tales among local fishermen and adventurous souls. Jake Harrison, a 28-year-old spearfishing enthusiast from Australia, had heard such whispers and felt the pull of the unknown. His love for the ocean was rivaled only by his thirst for adventure, making the undiscovered reef an irresistible lure. Jake was no stranger to the dangers in the depths of the sea but his confidence in his skills and determination to explore the unseen had always seen him through. The day Jake set out to find the reef was like any other in the tropics. The sun blazed in a clear blue sky, casting its golden light over the shimmering sea. He had prepared meticulously, knowing the risks of venturing into uncharted waters. His boat, a sturdy vessel named the Mariner's Arrow, was equipped with all the essentials for his journey and the dive ahead. As Jake neared the coordinates he had painstakingly gathered from the fragmented stories, anticipation coursed through his veins. The engine of the Mariner's Arrow hummed softly as he cut through the waves, each moment bringing him closer to what he hoped would be the discovery of a lifetime. Finally, the reef came into view, its vibrant colors breaking the monotony of the blue surrounding it. It was more magnificent than Jake had imagined, a thriving ecosystem bustling with life. Without hesitation, he anchored the Mariner's Arrow, donned his diving gear, and plunged into the welcoming embrace of the ocean. The world below was a spectacle of nature's artistry. Schools of fish in every hue darted among the coral while rays glided gracefully beneath him. Jake was in his element, moving with the current, spear in hand, eyes scanning for the perfect catch. It was a spear angler's paradise, untouched and pure. Yet, as is often the case in the heart of nature's magnificence, danger lurked in the beauty of the abyss. Unbeknownst to Jake, he had entered the domain of a predator, a creature as majestic as it was formidable, a tiger shark. This tiger shark had roamed these waters for years, a silent guardian of the deep. 
The first sign of trouble was a subtle shift in the behavior of the marine life around him. The fish became erratic, scattering into the hidden crevices of the coral. Jake's instincts kicked in, a mix of adrenaline and caution tightening in his chest. He scanned his surroundings, searching for the cause of the disturbance. Then, out of the depths, the tiger shark emerged. It was a magnificent specimen, its stripes starkly contrasted against the blue, its eyes reflecting a primal intelligence. Jake knew he was in the presence of one of the ocean's most adept hunters. He remained motionless, hoping not to provoke the shark, his spear a meager defense against such a creature. The tiger shark circled Jake, its movements deliberate, almost curious. Time seemed to stand still. The only sound was the beating of Jake's heart and the gentle flow of the ocean. Then, as quickly as it had appeared, the shark vanished into the blue, leaving Jake to ponder the encounter. He knew he had been given a rare gift, a moment of connection with one of nature's most misunderstood creatures. In a heart-stopping moment that unfolded within the tranquil abyss, the tiger shark, having momentarily vanished into the depths, returned with a silent, formidable grace that belied its lethal intentions. With barely a ripple, it surged towards Jake, its body a perfect fusion of power and agility. Instinctively, Jake positioned his spear not as a weapon but as a barrier between himself and the approaching behemoth, a desperate bid for survival. The shark, with an almost otherworldly intelligence, veered off at the last second, its rough skin grazing Jake's neoprene suit, leaving behind a tangible reminder of the thin line between life and death in the ocean's embrace. Jake's heart thundered in his chest, adrenaline coursing through his veins as he watched the apex predator disappear again into the blue. This encounter, a dance on the edge of danger, had tested Jake's resolve and his respect for the marine world, leaving him with a profound sense of humility and a life spared by the unpredictable nature of the sea. It was a stark reminder of the ocean's power and mystery. With a newfound respect, Jake decided it was time to return to the surface, his adventure for the day complete. Back aboard the Mariner's Arrow, Jake reflected on his experience. The reef had lived up to its legends, a place of unparalleled beauty and untold dangers. But more than that, Jake had come face to face with a creature that embodied the wild, untamable spirit of the ocean itself. Jake's respect for the ocean deepened, and his adventures became more mindful of the creatures that called it home. The encounter with the tiger shark had not only tested his skills and determination, still it had also opened his eyes to the wonders and perils of the deep. It was an experience that would stay with him, a story to be passed down, adding another layer to the rich tapestry of the island's history.